Hi everybody, so this is the third video in my series on argon diagrams. So in this video, we're going to look at finding the modulus and argument of a complex number from an argon diagram. So if we were to plot 3 plus 3i on an argon diagram, well, we'll have a real part, an imaginary part. We know for the real part, it will have a real value of 3. And the imaginary part will have also three, which is this three here. So on our eigen diagram, it will have coordinates three and three, where three is the real part and this three is the imaginary part, the three i part. So we want to work out what's called the modulus and the argument of this complex number. Well, the modulus is a magnitude of this complex number coming from the origin. So it'll be the length of this hypotenuse. So we can work out the magnitude of a modulus of z using Pythagoras' theorem. This will be the square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared. So the square root of 18. Which we can simplify to make 3 root 2. And then for the argument of a complex number, well the argument always goes from negative pi to pi. So it goes from the real axis from 0 to pi, or from 0 to negative pi. So for instance, it cannot go from here all the way down to here. It will go in this direction instead, okay? So in this case, the argument would be the anti-clockwise direction from a real axis, which we'll call theta. And we can work out theta because we have the opposite side of 3, on the adjacent side of 3. So the tan of theta will be the opposite over the adjacent. So theta will be the arctan of 1. So theta will be pi over 4. And this is our argument. We call this the argument of our complex number. Okay? So for part B, again, if we draw our eigen diagram, We've got one root three. So one of the real axis, root three on the imaginary axis. They'll have a the coordinates of one and root three coming from the origin. So the magnitude of a modulus using Pythagoras' theorem will be the square root of 1 squared plus root 3 squared. Well, 1 squared is 1, root 3 squared is 3. So the root of 4 will give us modulus of 2. And then the argument of z, we can work out using the tan of the angle theta as the opposite. So root 3 over 1. So theta will be the arc tan of root 3, which in radians is pi over 3. So the 2 is our modulus, and the pi over 3 is our argument. Okay?